Hey guys, it's Cabo Vigari back here. I'm out here with my 1998 K100 cab over and we're starting a project. Uh, project's gonna be the interior. So first thing I gotta do is uh, I'm gonna get the seats out of it and take them up to the shop and uh, we're gonna rebuild them. And then all the panels are coming out of this truck as well. Everything is coming out of this truck interior wise and the whole interior is going to get redone so follow along uh, we're going to have some good content and uh, i'm going to set you up so you can see the seat come out before we uh start taking it apart let me show you some things on this uh so it's it's in pretty good shape this interior it's just really dirty and it's got a lot of extra switches added to it that I gotta figure out how to take care of. Uh, full gauge package on this truck. And uh, no radio in it right now. But, uh, but yeah. And then that's the mattress for my Freightliner that I wanted to keep because uh, my buddy at the, I shouldn't have hit that. Dang it, I got it dirty. Uh, my buddy at the upholstery shop actually made that for me. Uh, it's like three different types of foam and it's the most comfortable mattress I have. So, the, all these panels are like perfect in the back. I don't think they've ever been slept in. And then this is the little closet. All the interior is in pretty good shape. The driver's seat was a little worn. Uh, and then... This seat's got this big cut in it right here, but otherwise it's in good shape. So, now you saw the interior. Let's pull it out. All right, guys. I know you can't really see me too good down here, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull this seat out. I'm gonna pull the whole base, take it all up there. Let's, I think I'm going about this the wrong way. All these bolts need replaced anyways. I'm just gonna cut them off underneath. I have the jack propped up a little bit just to see what it sits like level right now. So that's why it's sitting on blocks at the moment. All right, let's see if that's high enough for the safety. Not quite. A little bit more. There we go. You go around a cutting disc and we'll cut this off. So right up here, this is the four bolts that need cut off. And yes, that is factory that plywood. Something in Kenworth does. As you can see this truck was blue at one time. But I'll set you up right there. <laughs> All right, let me grab a hammer and knock them off. That one might need a little more. See if that got it free. I would say so. So I'm gonna set the cab back down and I gotta unbolt the seat belts from it and then we'll have it out. the Kenworth seat. 
So I'm keeping it. I'm not putting an air ride seat in this one because my other truck I had an air ride seat and passenger and it always just made noise. I didn't have enough people riding in it that it would matter. Well guys, we're up where I'm working and uh, we're gonna take this seat apart and show you how it's done to uh, make a pattern and stuff. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta pull it off of the base here. So uh, and this happens to be a 13 millimeter, uh, just using a little electric ratchet. And I'm uh, gonna zip these bolts off. Uh, it's kind of nice having uh, the facility to work on this properly and able to get it done and having good people help me out up there. And uh, it's been a good learning experience working up there. So uh, there's only four bolts holding this seat on. Some of them are kind of back there though. And then uh, here's the final one. Oh, I'm going to have to do voiceovers on stuff filmed up there because the radio is playing during the day and, uh, you know, YouTube doesn't like that. So, well, that was painless enough to get the seat off of the base. I'm just going to set the base on the ground, get it out of our way. That's my buddy Ethan. He works up at the shop as well. And uh, here, they use something called hog rings. And uh, I just gotta cut them all free. I'll show you here in a second what they actually look like. But there's a lot of them. And uh, that's what holds the material to the framing of the seat. So I'm just going around here, cutting them all. It's good to have a good pair of uh, side cutters or dykes. Uh, this is a hog ring. And what you do with it is you have these special pliers and when you crimp it, it closes it together and you could crimp it around something and hold it all together. They're used quite a bit in the upholstery world and uh, they work really well and they're really simple and uh, yeah. So here I'm just going to finish cutting them apart. I'm going to fast forward a little bit till I get to something else. Okay, so now i got all the hog rings loose and uh, the foam should be loose from the frame. Just kind of fold it over, so i just got to get it off of the frame here. And uh, that's about it for removing a cushion from the frame. Uh, I just kind of got to feed this through here. And it should come off now. I can't remember what was going on there. I think it got caught on the back corners there. But yeah, there it is. There's the seat bottom. Those are That's the suspension in the bottom of the seat. And uh, now what you do is you just got to pull the material off the foam. Just kind of push the foam in and get the material to pop around it. And uh, you always hope that your foam's in good shape because uh, foam's one of the more expensive parts of a seat and harder to find. I'm having a hard time finding one for the driver's side that needs one. We're going to have to rebuild it, and I'll do a video on that here in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, there, there's a place here where there's a little metal rod that runs through the seat, and there's three hog rings in it. So I gotta snip them. And get them all out. And then, uh, and that little metal rod's called listing. And now I'm just gonna turn it back the way it's supposed to go. And man, these seat covers were dusty. Uh, now I'm gonna grab the hog rings out of there now before I forget because they'll uh, tear up the new seat if I don't. So you always want to get them out of there right after you cut them. 
Sometimes they get deep into the foam. And digging it out. There I go. So now I'm looking at the foam. And uh, these look up pretty good. There's a little spot there that's a little soft. Ethan came over, he's way more experienced than me. And uh, gave me a little advice there and saying that he thinks it's okay. And now it's uh, time to move on getting the back off of there. Now the foam on this seat uh, is wrapped around the frame here. It does come off, but there's no reason to take it off uh, unless you're replacing it. And these have these like little metal clips. Uh, so what happens is the material comes up and folds over around it. Let's see if I can show you. So now I'm just trying to push those little clips off. The material folds over a piece of sheet metal and those clips go on and kind of just holds it there. Uh, so yeah, so just pushing them off there. Getting them to come off nicely. And then this one's giving me a little problem there. Uh, they, when they're in there for a long time, they kind of like bond themselves to the material and sometimes they're hard to move. But now, uh, this just has to be peeled off of here. So I kind of just roll it a little bit to get it started. And uh, you kind of want to pull them down pretty equally. That's Andy back there. And, uh, see if we could get this position a little better so you guys could see better. And, uh, yeah, these are tight on here, but you just kind of push the foam and work them up. And, uh, once you get past, like, this midsection, it'll get a little easier. Being careful not to damage the foam. Uh, I was just pointing out that this uh, seat's set up to be able to take armrests, which I was a little surprised at being a uh, fixed seat passenger seat. And uh, it actually has two hole positions, which I never don't really understand, but uh, kind of interesting, I guess. And that's the sheet metal that those clips were clipped around down there. Now once you get it up here, it usually comes off pretty easily. And uh, they use some plastic over the top to help it slide down. And there were some hog rings and some listing up here. Um, it was kind of funny because there's supposed to be three hog rings. There is only one attached. And there was about a bazillion of them just clipped to the rod like they kept missing the rod and just finally just gave up on it so just trying to get the hog earring out around there so that's andy the other andy there's two andys that work there the owner and then uh this guy andy you know we're telling him that he's gonna be in a youtube video he actually came over and did something funny, but uh, I think it was just off the camera range. So yeah, there's the upper cover. So uh, now I just need to put this away and we'll start marking on the covers to uh, cut them apart. Okay, now I got everything out of the way. What I'm doing is grabbing a grease pencil. And every place there's a seam, I'm marking on both sides of it. Um, that way we, when we cut this apart, we have a pattern of where they go back together. Um, so as you can see, just marking it across there, all over, every place there's a seam, and then, uh, I'll also do it if there's a long section too, just so there's another lineup mark uh, that could help line up, line up the patterns. So this is going to go on for a little bit. I'll fast forward you a little bit here. Uh, I'm just going to be marking it. OK, 
Okay, so here I'm unwrapping a straight razor blade and we're gonna start cutting the seat apart. So what we do is we just find a seam and we start cutting the threads. Sometimes it gets started, you know, if there's a heavy back stitch or something like that, it makes it a little difficult. But uh, yeah, just kinda follow the seams down. And then as you uh, pull on it some, it uh, opens it up. So all you really want to cut is the threads. So when you pull on it, it exposes the threads where you could get the razor blade in there easily to uh, cut them. Sorry, you guys are off camera. It's kind of a neat thing about doing these voiceovers is I get to see, I guess, my mistakes on uh, when I did these, when I filmed it. I'll move to a better location so you guys could see it better here in a second. But uh, yeah, I'm just cutting the threads. Uh, the goal here is to cut this all apart and we're going to have a pattern, pattern of the factory seat. So uh, well, and all the lineup marks will tell us like where they need to be lined up to sew together and stuff like that. Here's a little better view, and I sped it up a little bit here. But yeah, you can see I'm just following the seam around, and uh, there's one piece. That's gonna be one piece we gotta cut out to make the new seat. And then uh, here's another piece coming along here. And we just kinda go around the whole seat like this, getting all the separate pieces out. Uh, the next video I'll show you uh, how we cut the material out and sew it together. Uh, and, well, it won't be the next video. The next video that the seat's in, I guess I should say. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of neat process. We're just kind of deconstructing the seat, if you will. And... Takes them, it takes me a little bit of time. Uh, the other guys there, you know, they've been doing it longer and better at it. I'm just taking my time and cutting it all apart. It it's, goes pretty good, though, uh, in all reality. I couldn't believe how dirty this seat was. I didn't realize it in the truck, but uh, you can see that uh, blanket is getting a coating of dust all over it from it. Uh, the, you know, this was an oil field truck, so, you know, those guys uh, are in dusty environments, and, you know, the things get dusty. Here's the last few pieces of the bottom here that I'm cutting apart. And then we'll have uh, the whole bottom cut apart. I'm going to move on to the top. I'm going to do basically the same thing. I'm just going to leave it in uh, time lapse so you guys can watch it all get cut apart again. Hope you guys find this video interesting. Uh, I find this type of work really interesting and uh, happy I got the opportunity to do it. Um, and that this interior thing, uh, they'll uh, get them number them so we have, have a numbering of them all. So, uh, we, you know, if you guys want to watch them all in a sequence, you can. But... Uh, it's going to be a pretty unique interior. I haven't seen anybody do what I am planning to do as far as interior in a semi. It's going to be out there. I'm going to love it. I think I'm going to get some haters on it because it is, uh, it is going to be out there. Uh, that will get revealed pretty soon. I got to pull the rest of the interior out of the truck and then I'm going to order the material. And then uh, at that video, I'll reveal the color scheme of the truck interior. Um, it's going to be a fun thing. So I'm just going to let this keep playing. Thank you guys for watching as always. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to do all that YouTube good stuff. Like, like comment, share, subscribe, you know. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.